Azure Active Directory conditional access policies give administrators the ability to have fine-grained control over who can log into a tenant. Now these policies can be applied to individual Canvas apps as well, and Austin Loggison is going to show us this new feature on PowerCat Live. Welcome to PowerCat Live. I'm here again with Austin Loggison, Principal Program Manager on the Power Platform team. Hey, Austin. Hey, Phil. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, and welcome back. Now, you've been back a couple of times now. So before we get started talking about conditional access and the project you've been working on, give us an idea of like, what are all the things that you work on? In Power Apps, I work on licensing, governance, and guest access initiatives. And then we're here today to talk about one of the newest governance capabilities. Yeah, and I'm excited to talk about it. And uh, we'll come back and get you back here talking about licensing because I'm sure that's, uh, that's a popular topic. So let's talk about conditional access. So before we start talking about it in the context of Power Apps or Canvas Apps, what is conditional access? Yeah, so it's a Azure Active Directory technology that allows enterprises to use user identity signals mm -hmm. to determine whether or not users are allowed to access certain resources. So for example, an enterprise can say, oh, here's a resource where I don't want any guest users of my tenant to be able to access mm -hmm. it. Or I want to mandate users accessing this resource, mm -hmm. like a Power App. Mm -hmm. uh, they must be on CorpNet. Something along those lines. You've been able to use conditional access at some level to control access to apps in the past, right? So what's new? Yeah, so Power Apps has had some conditional access support where really you could apply conditional access policies to Power Apps the platform. Right. But it isn't all or nothing. It applied to all apps equally. Whereas today we're about to introduce a capability going to preview where enterprises can now target granular apps. Like I want conditional access policies on this app and different policies on that app. So can you show us some of the scenarios that this opens up? Yeah, absolutely. Let's dive into the demo. Right now, all you can see is a browser opened up to the Azure portal. Right now I'm signed in as an admin mm -hmm. and I'm really just highlighting two policies or two conditional access policies that you're gonna see in use on a single Power Apps app. One policy is really just not so extreme, but a very strong policy, which we see customers ask for time and time again, which is how can I control whether or not guests can access a resource? Or how can I guarantee guests cannot access a resource? One of the things you can do with conditional access is say this applies to guests and you can grant or block access to resources. The next policy that you're gonna see is requiring multi-factor authentication on whatever resource this policy is associated with. Also, the way I've configured this policy is that it applies to some users within the Active Directory tenant, but not all users. Interesting. Those are both seem really realistic from what I've seen in my customers. I'm going to switch from Azure Portal and go over to a maker view. Now, this is an app I have already set conditional access policies on. So the two policies that you saw in the past or that you saw on the last screen are what I already associated to this app. Now, I'm actually going to launch this app three times. It'll be the same app, but with different users or different personas to demonstrate how conditional access really is conditional access. If a user meets the requirements, they can access the app. If a user doesn't meet the right requirements, they won't be able to access the app. So without further ado, <laughs> I'm going to launch this app, and I'm in incognito mode. Initially, I'm going to sign in as a user that passes all the conditional access criteria such that they're not going to be blocked. They're not going to be required to sign in via multi-factor auth. They're just able to access the app. And it's your traditional UI design, very nicely done. Yeah, this one I went a little bit further above the end to make sure people <laughs> really in the app know what this app is for. <laughs> so I'm going to close out that session. Now I'm going to go launch the exact same app again, but as a different user. This second time around, I'm going to launch the app as a guest user. So this is the same app, and you've just got the same conditional access policies applied throughout. Correct. And you may recall one of the conditional access policies that I had was let's block guest users. So notice this is a user with an Outlook.com. Mm -hmm. This is a Microsoft account. This user is invited as a guest to the account. Now it happens to be as part of the auth prompt. I'll proceed with that. The main thing you want to see here is even as, or after I go through the authentication hoops, right. I won't be allowed to access the app. And mm -hmm. so you'll notice 
you don't have access. I successfully signed in, but I just don't have permission to the ac or to access the resource. And and just to be clear, this isn't because this app isn't shared with this user. Even if the app were shared with them, they wouldn't have access because of conditional access. Yeah, I'm happy you brought that up. The first user I signed in was Alex Wilbur. This next user I signed in as was this right here. So you can see this app was shared with Austin Logison at Outlook, but it's Azure Active Directory's conditional access, which is intervening saying, hey, whoa, sorry, a guest user doesn't pass muster. Now there's one more app launch I wanna show off for this demo, which is again, that same app. I'm gonna sign in with a user that the app is shared with. They're susceptible to the multi-factor auth requirement. So as I try to access the app, we have done at least one sign-in and notice as the app is launching out, it identifies that something else is needed. So I'm given the interactive dialog. And this is just another instance where I'm being asked to use the Microsoft Authenticator app to help satisfy multi-factor authentication. Even though the first user didn't require it, this user that's inside the tenant does because of that one conditional access policy. Yes, yes, correct. And actually just to close the loop, let me just go look at MFA requirements on some AD users. Oh yeah, sorry, I just want to confirm. It is my administrator who is the user that just signed in. So Austin, this, this feature is available in preview now. Where do people go to try it out? Uh, please check out the documentation link down in the description. So thanks, thanks for showing us this feature today, Austin. Thank you, Phil.